I, guys, I couldn't tell you how I have spent the rest of my day since I ended my vlog. I don't know. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't know. It's 9.30 at night. Uh, I could, I could go to bed if I wanted to, right? Like, this is an appropriate hour that I could go to bed. D left with his dad. We had dinner. And then, like, literally right after we ate, D left with his dad. I played some Animal Crossing. I played a little bit of Sims. I don't know what I've done. What have I done? I don't know. I'm sitting here like, did I fall asleep? <laughs> did I fall asleep for a little bit? And it was just like so shitty that I don't like remember. Like you don't remember being asleep, but you know what I mean? Like I didn't like wake up like fucking Snow White and stretch and yawn and look around and look like a fucking fairy princess, you know? I don't know. But also my Fitbit doesn't say that I slept. So maybe I didn't. I do know that I laid down and my eyes started leaking and it destroyed my makeup. It's also kind of hitting me right now how early I'm going to have to wake up from my appointment. It's at 8. I'm going to have to get up early and get in the shower and do all of that stuff. And in order for me to like do that and have time to like piddle fuck around, I'm going to have to get up at like 6. If the kids had school tomorrow, I'd be up that early anyways, but they don't. It's spring break now, officially, and my tummy hurts a lot. Me has a lactose intolerance. Also, me continues to eat dairy like I don't. Also, also me. Why is my stomach hurt? Also, I might try. I read online... Um, every time that this has ever happened to me, I got like fungus under my press ons, my press ons, <clears throat> my press ons. <clears throat> I have this thing with nails, just it's like the thing with teeth. <clears throat> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I read like a couple different like articles and like checked Reddit and stuff, and a lot of people said that soaking your nail in Listerine will help get rid of it and then a few people said like tea tree oil and then a lot of people said Vicks Vapo Rub. Guys I hate the smell of Vicks. Oh my god when I was a kid that was my mother's cure for fucking everything. I'm not joking you. The cure for everything was Vicks. It was Vicks. It didn't matter what happened to you. The, the cure was Vicks. It's a very, like, not pleasant smell. The amount of people that I know that are like, oh my god, Vicks Vapo Rub is like one of my favorite scents in the world. It's very triggering to me. It's just like that. You know how, um, and this is not me, like, talking shit about people that smoke cigarettes because I personally believe, like, it's your body. Do what you want. Um, you know how, like, heavy smokers will have the scent of, like, cigarette smoke on their clothing, but then oftentimes, especially on women, they'll have also, like, the smell of, like, their soaps and their perfumes soak in with it as well. And it's got that, like... I don't know how to describe it, but it's a very, like, familiar smell to me. And it's probably weird to say, but I don't think that it smells bad. It's like a nostalgic smell for me. It makes me think of my grandma. It makes me think of my mamma. Um, She's a heavy smoker, and she wears, like, uh, the White Diamonds perfume. And her clothes and her like bedding and everything, her, her furniture all smells like cigarette smoke and perfume or like her candles or her lotion or her body. So, and it's weird, but that's like a nostalgic, like comforting smell to me. Is that weird? Listen, there's people that love the smell of gasoline. <laughs> okay. And I'm sure one of them will rise up in my fucking comments. It's okay. We like what we like.
That was like the upper part, like right under my neck snapping. Did you? I'm gonna watch that gym back. Okay, you couldn't hear it, but just know that it was extremely loud and it felt great. It felt great. I just woke up from a nap. Um, I rolled out of bed this morning with the intention of vlogging like everything that I did. Why do I have the most dry fucking headache that's the only way that i can think to describe my headache is very dry feeling like there's like sand or something in my head and in my neck is my eyebrow disintegrating it's no bad worse it's no better it's no worse than it normally is listen i fell asleep at like a halfway decent hour last night i fell asleep at like 10 and I woke up at three. And according to my Fitbit of those like, what, five hours that I was laying down, I actually only slept for four. And I was like, you know what? If I end up not going back to sleep, it'll be fine because I can I can get to therapy on that. I, I ended up having to reschedule my therapy. I'm like, I can fucking make it into therapy like this. I can do it. But I should probably still try to go back to sleep. And I did for a little while. And it was just not fucking happening. It was just not happening. So I rolled over. I picked up my phone. I started looking at my notifications. And I had saw that I had gotten an email saying that Pat had messaged me on Facebook. And I was like, oh shit, I need to turn my notifications back on. I still don't know what I'm going to do on Sunday. I still don't know what I'm going to do on Sunday. Um, messaged her back and then rolled around for a little bit. I did play Animal Crossing. I got bit by a spider. I didn't know that that was possible. Listen, I didn't know that getting bitten by a fucking giant spider in Animal Crossing was possible. Should I had like mathed the math on the fact that it was like way more bigger and like way more realistic than the other bugs in the game? Yeah, probably. But I wanted it and I ran towards it and it fucking got my ass. And I've been trying to make medicine for like two days. You know, if you shake a tr like trees, sometimes a wasp nest will fall out and they'll sting you. I got stung two times in a row the other day, and um, now I can't get stung at all. Like, I've been shaking fucking trees, and nothing's fallen out. But I did get bit by a spider, so I rage quit Animal Crossing. I went downstairs to take a shower. I went downstairs to take a shower, and I pull back the curtain to go into the... Um, kitchen for those of you that don't know anybody that's new here there's like an archway between my kitchen and my living room and we put a curtain between there i pulled it back and there was like what sounded like um music playing from somebody's phone like they were watching a video or something on their phone and i was only down there because i needed to get a towel so that i could take a shower and i I had a weird feeling and I noped the fuck out. I was like, no. <laughs> um, and then I was like, well, maybe it was E because he's down there. Like that's, he's down there logically math the math on that shit. So I poked my head into his bedroom and he was sleeping. D's with his dad. He was sleeping. I was like, oh good. Oh good, this is just like the other day when I was walking up the stairs and I heard somebody say why or something like that or what. Or it was like a woman. I was like, oh. 
So then I came back upstairs and then I don't even know what I, I can't even tell you what I did for like the half hour that I was sitting up here. I had an alarm set for 6 a.m. I was going to get up at 6 a.m. regardless because my appointment was at 8 and I was going to shower and I was going to film myself doing my makeup, which I actually did. And I was like, I'm fucking done. I got to, I got to get a towel. Regardless of if somebody broke into my house and is watching a fucking YouTube video in my bathroom or it's a ghost, I gotta get a fucking towel. I went back downstairs and there was an, it was quiet. It was quiet again. So I grabbed a towel and I took a shower and then I filmed myself doing my skincare and my makeup. My makeup. I gotta tell you guys, for some reason for me, when I watch people do things like that, it makes it easier for me to do it. You know what I mean? Um, that probably sounds, there's no fucking way that that sounds weird because I've never had an original experience in my life. There's no way that that sounds weird. When I watch other people like organize or like clean or do their makeup, do anything like that, it makes me feel like motivated to do the same thing sometimes when i yawn i feel like i need to slap myself in the face and that was a sometimes moment but i took my shower i filmed myself doing my makeup i ate a really good bagel for breakfast and then i went to tim hortons and got a coffee and then i went to therapy and then i came home and then I laid down and I took a nap, but not before making E and I lunch. I ate, uh, I ate cheese fries for lunch again. But anyways, it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I intended to film myself like in the parking lot at therapy. And then I get there. It was so fucking cold this morning. The second that I cut the engine off and the, and the heat turned off in the Jeep, I was like, ah, you don't know about all that. I really want to take some of the money that Chloe sent me. Oh, it's like an imprint on my arm from my blanket where I was asleep. I was like, oh God. I really want to take some of the money that Chloe sent me and go get some eyelashes. There's like lots of eyelashes stuck to my headboard, but I don't think any of them have a match. And after that eye infection that I had like last week, I don't think that I should chance it. I just have to get up the will to like get out of bed. Um, Right before I laid down, E's dad came and got him because he did successfully find a car. But the guy that like does the paperwork wasn't in to like do all the paperwork for him or with him or whatever so Epps took him this morning to pick up his car and E went with them and it's Friday so um he's spending the day with his dad I'll probably spend a little bit of time with him tomorrow too and I just am not in the mood to go anywhere by myself like my kids are like my comfort blanket whenever I go into uh public my kids and my husband are my comfort blanket when I'm feeling exceptionally anxious and Epps is working and both of the boys are spending time with their dads as they should. It's beautiful outside. I can see the sunlight. I can hear the distinct sound of people mowing their yards. And I'm like, what if I lay here and find something to watch on Crunchyroll? What if I find a good series with a nice 12 episodes that I can watch? What if I play Sims and lose the next eight hours of my life? I also thought about downloading or buying and then downloading Stardew Valley on my Nintendo Switch. I own it on um, Mac and PC and then I own it on uh, my iPad as well. It's just not on my iPad. Uh, but I don't own it on Switch. And then I'm like, no, bitch, go be in the sunlight. Please. I don't feel like moving. I feel like not moving. I definitely have like a hormone migraine bitch thing. I don't know. I have a really bad tension hormone migraine bitch thing. Oh, I listen. 
Maybe this is the universe throwing me a fucking bone. Maybe this is the universe telling me that I've been through enough. It's seen enough. I don't know. Um, right as I was falling asleep, I got a call from the pulmonary clinic and they asked me, well, they told me that my doctor was out sick and most likely was not going to be back in on Monday, um, which is when my appointment is. And I was like, oh shit. And she was like, well, let me reschedule you. They can't get me back in until Friday. But guys, listen, we know whatever's going on with my lungs is benign. Um, nothing's going to get worse between now and next Friday. That's what I know. So I was like, oh, that's fine. And it has to be fucking fine. Um, they're going to get me in on Friday instead of Monday. So that alleviates a lot of stress because I was extremely worried that my very important appointment was going to interact or interfere with Dee's very important appointment. Like the appointment for Dee on Monday has to happen one way or another. Like I would completely cancel my appointment for this appointment. So I just feel like perhaps the universe is throwing me a fucking bone here. I don't know. That's an eyelash, by the way, stuck on the headboard beside me. Sometimes if I fall asleep and I have eyelashes on, they start hurting my eyes. So I rip them off while I'm like 97% asleep and I just smack them on the first flat surface that I know that they're not going to be like rolled on. Is that it gets the royal treatment? Oh, my hair looks so good. I just laid back for a minute, like just kind of like laid back and realize that I'm in danger of falling back asleep. And if I do, I'm not gonna get my vlog finished for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and end my vlog in case I fall asleep. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, I'm not gonna flip you off. My nails are fucking gross.